Well, we're getting a first look tonight at the so-called burn after reading letter that Brian Laundrie's mother wrote to her son. Brian Landry killed his fiance, Gabby Petito, during a cross-country trip in 2021. He took his own life months later. This letter was found on Brian when his body was discovered. And in the letter, Roberta Landry promised Brian a shovel and a garbage bag if he ever needed to dispose of a body. The letter was released to the parents of Gabby Petito after a judge's ruling on Wednesday. They are suing Roberta and Christopher Landry for emotional distress in connection to their daughter's death. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton joins us now. Brian, I've read the letter. It's astonishing. It is, Elizabeth, and we've been trying to get our hands on this letter for months now. We heard about snippets of the letter. We heard about rumors. I've talked to people who saw the letter when it was in FBI uh, evidence custody. Well, now we finally have the letter for ourselves. There are still, however, a lot of questions about when exactly Roberta Laundry gave her son Brian uh, this letter. Anything you want to say to Gabby Petito's family? Brian Laundrie's parents, Chris and Roberta, have not spoken publicly since their son murdered Gabby Petito. But now, for the first time, News Nation has obtained this letter Roberta wrote to Brian. The front of the letter says, burn after reading. It reads in part, if you're in jail, I will bake a cake with a file in it. If you need to dispose of a body, I will show up with a shovel and garbage bags. Gabby's mom emotional in court yesterday when a judge ruled the letter had to be released as part of the civil trial. The Petitos are suing the Laundries, claiming they knew Gabby was dead but did not say anything to end their emotional turmoil. The Petitos' attorney says the burn before reading letter is smoking gun evidence. In my mind, that clearly shows that, that she knew that Gabby Petito was deceased, and it's up to the jury to decide when that letter was written. Just because Mrs. Uh, Laundrie says it was written before the trip doesn't mean it was written before the trip. The Laundries maintain the letter was written before Brian and Gabby set off on their road trip. In a statement to News Nation, Roberta Laundrie said, I truly loved my son and simply wanted to convey to him how much he meant to me and how much I loved him. I'm sure people use phrases all the time to express to their loved ones the depths of their love. Although I chose words that I thought would be impactful with Brian given our relationship, the letter was in no way related to Gabby. The letter doesn't reference Gabby in any way, um, which would be unlikely if it was written after what happened between Gabby and Brian. Um, so that's our position, uh, and we believe the uh, facts will eventually bear that out. And the reports initially uh, were that this letter was found inside Brian Laundrie's backpack when his remains were found in that reserve uh, in Florida. But I was just texting with the Laundrie family attorney, Steve Bertolino. Uh, he is now pushing back on that. He claims that the letter was actually found uh, either inside the Laundrie's home or inside Gabby Petito's van. Elizabeth? Yeah, because it raised the question, why would Brian Landry have a letter months, written months and months and months earlier with him when he went out into the swamp to commit suicide? If the letter was someplace else, maybe not so much of a question there. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.